All right, so I don't know what I'm gonna call this video, or maybe I'll even make it into a series, so I don't know what I'm gonna call this series, but you've seen this on the channel, I think two times. It is a 2002 Civic SI with a K24A imported from Japan in it. Uh, I got a lot that I need to do into this thing, and now is the time to do it. Uh, I tried starting it, didn't want to start, and that's because the alternator seized. The alternator is seized because I decided to put holes in the hood. But yeah, so while I'm uh, ordering that, I am going to do all the other upgrades that I wanted to this car, because I have just parts on top of parts waiting for this thing. All right, so here I have a couple parts that I'm gonna be installing. I have an Acuity TPS sensor. I have some uh, gauge stuff I need to install. I have a water temp sensor. I have a steering steering rack slider. It's like a it's like the hard plastic version, not the metal one. This thing should stiffen up the steering and make it a lot better. It's from K System, a company out in Poland. I have this from JDM Yard. I ordered this. This is from an Australian company, but these are made in Japan. They are T1Rs, inverse uh, tie rod bushings. So normally you put the tie rod in like this. In this case, I put the tie rod in like this. So this helps with the EP3s, especially if they're lowered. Helps with the suspension geometry. I also have a Megan Racing. Extended ball joint kit right here. Whoops. Looks something like this. No unboxing. But yeah, we're gonna put some extended ball joints into this. It'll also help with the geometry after the car was lowered. And it will greatly increase the suspension and the way this thing steers and handles. So yeah, there's that. Also in front of me, as you can see, is a subframe uh, x brace now i've read a lot on the forums a lot of people either really love this thing or really hate this thing so i bought it just to check this is a new speed brace and we'll see if it's something that i'll keep on the car or if i'll take it off got an oil filter gonna do an oil change with it i also got a spacer so i can run a pressure and temp gauge and i have a box of just gauges that's gonna go in this car. Uh, on top of that, I'm waiting for the alternator to arrive, and I have a lot of stuff that I wanna do to the car as well. So, uh, the front bumper of the car is off right now. That's because I'm gonna be redoing part of it. I'm gonna install some fog lights on it. The hood, I think I'm also gonna redo. The reason why the vents are not there is because the epoxy just would not hold it. So I'm gonna rivet those in, and then I'm also gonna fabricate some sort of metal that will uh, make it so the rainwater does not really drip on my alternator because I don't want to have to keep replacing that thing. And I'll also design it so it doesn't go on the fuse panel. The cover's off, just it's okay. I still have it, don't worry, I don't leave it like that. But yeah, I'm gonna start with getting this thing in the air, start pulling a bunch of parts off of it, and we'll see how it goes. I also forgot that I ordered a bunch of uh, AC system parts about a year ago, so I might as well replace that as well when I'm doing the alternator. But wheels are off. Next step is gonna be get the suspension out. Steering rack also has to come out. I think that's gonna be the most like biggest nightmare, just getting back in there and uh, taking it all apart. But yeah, slow and steady with this thing. Everything that you did, that you said I don't think you understand what 
you doing? And my heart's black and blue from the bruising I feel like when I'm with you I'm losing I feel like you think that this amusing Alright, so that's out These uh, ball joint separators make easy work of it, out of that So yeah uh, Question is, do I want to do the steering rack first? I'm going to have to rebuild it, regrease it or do I want to do these lower control arms first, where I gotta put the new bushing in and the standard ball joints? So yeah, that's, uh, that's what I'm currently looking at. Probably do the steering rack because I don't feel like doing that. So rather get the worst part out of the way for now. All right, got the little uh, support bar out. That one's actually out of uh, Acura Type S, so it's thicker and more sturdier than the EP3 one. But I got that out. It was held in by four. Uh, 12 millimeter bolts, two on each side. Really easy to get it from the top with an impact. Next, I'm gonna go inside the cabin of the car. Probably not gonna record this part because uh, it's kind of hard to get the correct camera angle there. But you gotta take out, I'm pretty sure, two 10 millimeter bolts that uh, is uh, like holding the steering rack in from the inside for like the uh, steering. So yeah, we got that done. Then everything else is gonna be the nightmare part where I have to work in this tiny place so yeah all right after you do that you're gonna be in here I'm gonna unplug these guys uh, take this bolt out right here see if I can get the camera in a better the light in a better angle I should say but yeah take this bolt out take that bolt out take that bolt out then you can take this motor actually out and then you're gonna want to get that bolt that bolt and then there's two more bolts on that side you should be able to uh, just slide the whole rack out, hopefully. Uh, if there's any more that I have to do, I will update you guys. All right, so this motor's out, exactly went as I said. So next I'm gonna get to unbolting those uh, larger bolts, uh, two on each side, and hopefully this thing will come out loose easily. Also, I uh, actually forgot to mention, not only will you have to do these two, but I think you have to do uh, these smaller ones as well, but we'll see. First I'll do those two, then those two, we'll see if it's loose. If not, you're gonna have to do these guys as well, so. All right, so those two big bolts are out. Uh, on this side, there's two nuts. Oh, they're all 17 millimeters. The other side, I was able to fit an impact and it was really easy. This side, I had to use a wrench and a breaker bar on the end to get it out, but as you see, it's moving around. Let's go check the other side. This guy moving around. Yeah, it is. But as you see, there's this uh, ground cable right here. And unfortunately, mine is like the nut or whatever is just completely curted off. So I'm just going to snip this ground cable off and just uh, make a new one on like a better ground. So yeah, that's going to be my solution to that. And hopefully, once I get that done, I can just slide this out nicely. I'm praying it's going to be that easy, but we'll see. All right, so I'm trying to pull this out but these hoses are kind of getting in the way and I have to drain the fluid anyways. So I'm just gonna drain it all in a bucket and kind of remove those hoses, put them out of the way and should be a lot easier to do. So yeah, bit of a shame ruining all this nice fluid. I didn't realize it was actually uh, Honda fluid and not some like universal stuff. I would have saved it and not put it in a dirty bucket, but this bucket's toast. So there's no way I'm gonna be reusing this fluid now. Yeah. Gonna wait for all that to drain out. Gonna quickly get a rag, clean that up. But yeah, Sh I surprised myself. Don't remember putting in actual fluid in here. Always use the universal garbage because I have to always keep draining and undraining stuff. But yeah. All right, so it's out. That's gonna be one of the worst things I've done in a while. Uh, I made it a lot harder on myself because I kept these guys on when taking it out. Simply, I just didn't have the right tool to take them off. You need like, a, I think, 29 millimeters crow foot to be able to get these out, but I took it out all at once. And then while I was off the car, I was able to just put a pipe wrench on it and use a lot of leverage and got these out. So yeah, these will come off. You have to take the rubber off. I re-grease the whole thing, put the slider in, but I'm not gonna do that now. Next is gonna be to continue stripping this. Gonna get the lower control arm out. And once I get the lower control arm out, I'll start disassembling the front end of the car and get it all ready. 
for installing of the uh, new parts. Kind of forgot to record on this side, but that's okay. I'll just record on the other side. Uh, got the sway arm and link off. Just simply took the bolt out. Got this bolt out. Next, I uh, got this nut off. Haven't beaten it out yet. Got to get the uh, that nut off as well. Got to get the bolt back here as well. And then hopefully it's just that and I'll be able to get this lower control arm out without too many issues. Quick little update. Uh, completely forgot that the ball joint is over there so you actually have to take off uh you gotta take the axle like take the axle out of the spindle you gotta take the spindle out so basically take it out of the coil over you gotta take the brake line off you gotta take the uh, sensor out uh probably gonna take the brake line off over there so that means we have to bleed the brakes again in this car bleed the brakes again in this car and yeah but i'm getting closer to it brakes still seem fine so I'm not really gonna worry about them Ball joints. Several days later. Alright, so that's out, sitting right there. Can I get a ball joint undone? So I'm probably just gonna take a sawzall and just cut it and then punch it out. Same thing with the other side. Wasn't able to get the ball joint separated, but that's fine. I'll get that all done. Uh, also gonna have to get this guy done. In other words, I gotta get blades for the saw. I gotta get new blades for the sawzall because they suck, it's over there. Once I get new blades, I'll be able to cut this guy. I'll be able to cut this, pop this out, press the new guy in. So yeah, hubs are good in this car, so I don't have to replace that, like in the EF. So yeah, brakes are good enough. It's okay for now. This is how it looks. I did pop the axle out on this one, so I uh, like it went out of the like shaft. So put it back in. And yeah, it's leaking a little, but yeah. Uh, I think next is going to be taking up the front. I got to get this radiator out, get the support out, get this bar out. Get it so that it's just easy to work over here. So I got to get the alternator out and I got to get stuff with the AC system. So honestly, today, main goal is just to get everything out and he's accessible. So suspension's out, steering's out. So next front end. Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade Well, disaster has struck again well, not me dropping that, but, uh, yeah, that's fucked. I gotta get a new line like that. 
I wonder if the junkyard would even have something like that. I'm not sure. Cause every Fuck. time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby have a taste All the highs and the lows, no you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side, maybe we could be okay Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way Trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I know you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray As you fade away So, I'm looking at this alternator, right? I don't know if you can see that I keep shading the camera, but Right here, I mean there's just a the crack right there there's a big crack right here. I don't even think I have to point to it. You can just see it, man. Yeah, this thing is definitely the OEM one. Came with this car and I mean, it is not happy. At least it's not seized anymore, but still. Yeah, I, uh, I ordered a new one. Should come in soon, so I'll wait for that. In the meantime, we got a bunch of parts to install and uh, restore, so, yeah. For the most part, the stripping of the car is finished. So, from front here, I can then toggle the AC, which I got to figure out where I can find that line. Hopefully, there will be some parts car nearby or someone on Facebook selling it. Or something. I looked on eBay. I really can't find it. I don't know what it's called. I just look up AC line or hose for this car and can't find it, but yeah. Once that comes in, I'll start tackling this with the alternator. Uh, I'll be replacing the this guy, that guy for the AC. Hopefully, it'll be working. Put the alternator in. Then I can put the rest of the front of the uh, the front of the car back together. Then we will be going back suspension, where I need to replace the ball joint right there. That ball joint. I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna pop it out then. Same thing with this guy, we're gonna knock this guy out, fire, use fire to burn all the stuff out, then cut this and knock it out. Press all those stuff in as well. Probably maybe even, I might even uh, sandblast this, just to make it all new and fresh. So yeah, that's about it for that suspension parts. I gotta install that new speed cross member thing on the bottom. So yeah, gotta add the water temp sensor as well as get a uh, spacer plate on the oil filter and put a temperature and pressure sensor on that. So, yeah. Also gonna redo a little bit of the wiring over here. But, and route some wires for a fog light because as you saw, the front bumper wasn't here. I have a special video planned for what I'm gonna do with that front bumper. So, yeah. Till tomorrow.